Let's sculpt some pumpkins. Boo! Hello everyone. So anyone that knows me knows that I love the holidays, especially in the fall. In fact, I would say fall is my favorite time of the year. I get hoodie weather, football starts up, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, love it all. I am a happy man. I'm a lot happier though if the Titans are doing well, which half my life they really haven't done very well. They're doing all right during the time of this video though, so that's something. I love the fall holiday season so much that I ran some holiday events at my local game store, and I also themed up one of my War Machine armies with pumpkins. My cricks. Because you know I've never talked about them before. You could say I'm a little obsessed. Only a tiny bit. I still have a good handful of those cricks laying around. Maybe I should repaint one of them. That'd be kind of fun. Maybe I should just redo the whole thing. Hmm. Future video perhaps. Let me know in the comments below if you do want to see me do a video on redoing my Crick's army. That sounds like a lot of fun. Back to this video. So earlier I made a speed painting video painting some type of skeleton king for Dungeons & Dragons. In that video I ended up cutting off way too much green stuff for the base. None of us ever cut off way too much green stuff, right? I said I would make a future video that showed what I did with it. So here is that video. Let's make some pumpkins. So here is that extra ball of green stuff. I tend to do this far too often. And I'm breaking out two bases because I'm gonna actually sculpt two pumpkins for you so you have a pretty good idea how to do it. You're totally gonna need some chapstick. Then you'll need a sculpting tool of some sort. I use an X-Acto knife and a toothpick. Later on you'll see that I use a paper clip. Just use whatever works for you. Now just tack the green stuff ball to the base. Then you're gonna get your chapstick out that's what I'm talking about. And you're going to use that to lubricate your X-Acto knife or your sculpting tool. That way the green stuff doesn't stick to the tool. Freaking gross! Then you'll start from the bottom and go up with your sculpting tool and you're going to go around and make lines. I tend to use the back of the X-Acto knife because it's not super sharp. And you just rotate it around and you make these lines over and over again. This is where you can customize your pumpkin. You could do a bunch of small lines, you could do bigger. I have no idea what these are called. Pumpkin rows or pumpkin lines, I don't know. But either way, you just rotate around from the bottom to the top, and that ball of green stuff's gonna eventually start looking like a pumpkin. Check this out. So now I'm gonna take a toothpick and I'm gonna get out the chapstick as well. Chapstick! And I'm gonna start pressing in on the top of the ball. Oops. <laughs> All right, let's get a paper clip. A little more sturdy, a little more sturdy. So you go from the top of the line and you pull it into the middle and that'll help form the ball into a pumpkin shape as well. Because the pumpkin rows, or again, whatever you want to call them, they bulge out and then go over and in. Now you can see some of the lines tilted and that's fine because pumpkins grow in all sorts of different shapes and sizes, right? But you can adjust that just with your paper clip. So then, you get a little, tiny little ball of green stuff, you Mr. Miyagi it, and then you put that on the top where that hole is. And then you get your sculpting tool, and you just start putting in lines on the side and pulling it from the top down towards the middle of that ball, and that's your pumpkin stem. And you can make these as long as you want or as short as you want. Take the flat side of your sculpting tool and you can flatten the top of it if you want. Again, you can customize these all you want. So here's pumpkin number one. It's pretty big, so let's see what it looks like next to a big model. So we have this 40K guy, I forget what he's called, but he's awesome. You could throw a hobbit on there, because why not? You could throw an X-Wing on there. Hey, you just do you, you know? So for round two, getting another ball of green stuff, lubricating the sculpting tool. Freaking gross! And again, we're starting from the bottom and we're going up. 
And remember, you can use any material. You can use clay, you can use air dry clay, you can use the bake clay if you want. Here, you can see I'm adjusting the shape of the overall pumpkin with the sculpting tool in the middle of that hole. You can move it around and straighten things out if you want. You could shift it, you can make it slanted. You have a lot of control. You could do this for pretty cheap and make a lot of pumpkins. If you want to adjust the bottom, you can. If you don't want it to be so flat. And there you are. All right, grab another little ball of green stuff, Mr. Miyagi it, and then you put that on the top where that hole is. Bam, you're good to go. You can make long stems, you can make short stems, whatever you want. Here's how they look. Ooh! Just think how cool some of your armies could be. Like, has anyone done a night haunt pumpkin army yet? Cause that needs to happen. This looks super sweet. This Crick's Kraken that I did many years ago, you can see how dusty it is, it's kind of gross. But uh, uh, most of these pumpkins here are ones I sculpted. I feel like I could do a better job nowadays. But check it out, Nurgle pumpkin themed. Uh, yeah, that seems cool. And see how this guy's a little tilty? Yeah, so after it dries, you could just cut it flat if you need to. Not a big deal at all. And then when you're putting it on the miniature, you can sit there and move it around and place what side of the pumpkin you want to show. So if you have one side that doesn't look too great, you can just move it to where you want because the back side will just be hidden by the leg of this guy. And don't worry about the bottom of it. The bottom of it is probably going to be buried into your basing materials. So if the bottom's a little flat, no big deal. Pretty cool and easy. So I decided I'm going to skip on the pug test today. These things are too much like little candies, and she would probably love them. We can still check on her, though. We all need lives outside of being a witch. And I guess I need to start rebuilding mine. <laughs> she looks like she's like, get away from me now. I'm busy. Well, I hope you had a good time watching this video. I know I had a good time making it. If you have a pumpkin themed army or you plan to make a pumpkin themed army or you're just trying to create a cool setting for Dungeons and Dragons or something like that, I hope this video helped. It could potentially save you a lot of money. You can also have customized little individual pumpkins. Being able to size the pumpkins to the way you want, it's pretty sweet. And you can have a good time too. So thanks for checking out the video. Like and subscribe so you get notified for my future videos. And don't forget to hobby and have fun. Thanks again. Oh, I cannot see. <laughs> I get hoodie weather. I get hoodie weather. I cannot tell if that's in focus or not. Oh, I can't see. Blinded by the light. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below if you want me to. S blah, 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 blah. Bring me the chapstick.